The only person I was never terrified to be around was Alfred. First time I saw Alfred in a play, it was a drawing room comedy. He had his back to the audience. A maid entered and said, your letter didn't come, sir. Alfred's shoulders slumped, and you knew everything you needed to later in the play. Alfred's back was to us again. A maid enters and said, your letter's come, sir. Alfred's shoulders lifted. And at that moment, without even seeing his face, I knew I wanted to be with him. You didn't even know him. There's no place I know Alfred better than on stage. What about the rest of the time? My dear, we're always on stage. That night, after the play, we went back to his room. It was a boarding house for actors. <laughs> Noel was there too. And we made a vow. Noel would write wonderful glittering plays, and Alfred and I would act them, and we would be the greatest stars of the English-speaking stage. Alfred and I stayed up till dawn that night talking about the theater. What about love? Whenever we're talking about the theater, we're talking about love. I want to give you something. Before the performance starts. Open it. Oh, <laughs> it's gold. Me. Yes. And pearls, just a few. You and Alfred have been working together so well. Such long hours. And I was so beastly to you the other day. It wasn't your fault. It's this play. I just know they're going to despise me. Who? The audience. They won't like Arkadny, I can feel it. It's simple for you, for Nina, I mean. Audience is always like the pretty young thing, full of hopes and dreams, etc. The fourth act isn't so simple. That's because you're afraid of crying. How did you know? The way you reacted when I said Nina had cried on the way. I've never cried on stage. Or off. I wouldn't know how to do it. <laughs> Do it like that.